Good morning. How are you guys doing today? Um, so the messages I have for you guys today is basically feel your shit. Um, some of you are having a hard time accepting what has happened before in the past or recently happened or is currently happening. Um, but you have to understand that every time you go through something and it is some form of an emotional loss, you know, take it as inspiration. Take it as something that's going to help you to grow and transform. Because through these losses, they're showing that there is going to be positive movement forward. Okay, so whatever it is that you're going through right now, understand that it is a temporary situation. And once you go through it and you really feel it and you allow yourself to heal from it, then you're going to move right past it, okay? Because Spirit's saying you need to accept what is currently. And I know sometimes it's hard to accept what is because a lot of the time it's not pleasant. And we don't want to feel it and we don't want to go through the bullshit. But it's necessary for you to do that. Um... So please just understand that the universe is trying to bring miracles into your life. They're bringing blessings to you. So you have to let go of the resistance and any doubts that you have in your mind currently, okay? Because the more you resist and the more you fight it, the harder it is, you know? And you can't change a situation. Sometimes you have to accept situations for what they are because it's easier to go with the flow than to sit there and keep fighting. Um, remember, I think the last time I said you were like going, if it was like a mountain and you're like, damn, I gotta go over this mountain to get to the other side, when you can just as easily go around it to get to the same place. So just because it seems difficult doesn't mean you have to proceed on that path. There is many ways to get to where you're trying to go. So if you find a way that's really, really hard, and you just keep hitting walls and hitting walls, then try to find another way to get there because there's no point in fighting so hard to get somewhere where if you take a different route or a different option, it's gonna be easier and you won't be as drained, okay? But whatever situation it is that you're going through emotionally, you know, accept it, allow it to end if it's ending, if it's a different type of loss, you know, I am sorry for your loss. But please just go through this and allow yourself to feel this, okay? Because they say with, you have to put more effort into whatever situation you have going on. Um, and if it's relationship orientated, then you need to put the effort into being more effective in your communication. You need to open up and communicate effectively about what's going on or what you're feeling because that's the only way you're going to have a better outcome. As long as you're keeping everything inside and you're kind of just shutting down, you're basically building resistance to whatever this situation is, okay? Because whatever storm, it's showing that it's passing. I mean, like I said, some of you could be going into it now. Good morning, Beth, how are you? Um, some of you could be going through the storm now, but for a lot of you, you've already come out of this storm and you're just really anxious and some of you are still focused on what has happened before. But they're showing that there's uh, <laughs> greener pastures, there's a better way, you know, like there's so much more for you, but you're keeping yourself in this state of anxiety, in this place in your head where you're not allowing yourself to be free from this even though it's already passed so in order for this to you have to find balance again okay and that's what they're showing like you have to find a way to bring balance back into your life in order for you to be successful and get the ending that you're hoping for because if you can't find the balance uh, mentally spiritually physically you know get in alignment it's going to be hard for you to achieve the outcome that you're trying to achieve because right now they're showing that you guys are uh it's time to like take a pause. You know, if you've been working and working and you've been so focused on this and you don't know what else to do, it's time to kind of just take a break, reassess, or let shit just go as it's meant to go. You know, everything happens in divine timing, not our timing. And the more you try to force things, the worse things are gonna get, 
So if you have something set in your mind as to how it needs to happen, that's probably what's causing the delays or causing the extra chaos. So you have to allow things to be, okay? And for some of you, it's time for you to share your stories. It's time for you to open up and let people in so that way you can help someone else in their life and what's going on. Hello, my love. And, um, you know, it's time to clear out whatever is not serving you. So if you have old emotional baggage, you have to release that because that's the only way that you're going to be able to move forward. Because as long as you're holding on to all the baggage, all of the old shit, you're never going to let it go and you're going to keep carrying it around with you and it's going to be such a heavy burden for you. When if you heal through it and you allow this to kind of just be like, okay, it's done, it's past, I don't need to focus my energy on that anymore and try to be present, you're going to be very triumphant in that. I love you too. I'm okay, Beth. I'm not, not too bad. <laughs> you know life's great um so yeah you know for some of you it is necessary for you to take time out and be in solitude and just kind of spend time by yourself so that way you can reassess and see what's important to you and the people and things that need to stay in your life and the things that don't need to stay in your life okay but it says that you're overlooking important details so make sure you're paying attention to what's really going on and when you're in a state of anxiety, it's easy to overlook things because you're so stressed out and you're not focused. So maybe you're missing red flags. Maybe you're missing those warning signs where you would have caught on had you been in a better state of mind. So pay attention to what's happening, okay? And make sure if you're reading, if you're going through contracts or anything like that, read the contracts clearly. Make sure that you're getting all the information that you need to have, okay? But definitely with communication, whether it is about a job a home, a relationship, make sure that you're, communica you're communicating clearly what it is that you want or that you need or whatever needs to be rectified because that's the only way it's gonna, everything's gonna work out, okay? You need to talk. Hi, Jamie, how are you? But there is definite positive movement forward for you guys, so please believe in miracles because they do happen and if you've been this person that's just stressed the fuck out, you got to let that go so that way you can move forward into better things because the more you hold on to it, the more likely you are to miss opportunities that are meant for you. Okay, so please let those things go. Now, for those of you that are afraid of allowing love in, they're saying you have to do a lot of shadow work. Um, basically, there's situations, there's things from your past that you haven't dealt with or you haven't closed out whatever it is um you know if you are in a relationship and you're still like eh, trying to find a way out of it close the door you know face it head on so that way you could be done with it unless it's a toxic situation then don't do that find a safer way out of it but for those of you you know try to open yourself up okay and any patterns that you notice that you have when you start catching feelings for somebody or people start telling you they love you or any combination and you notice that you start shutting down or you start pushing people away or you go back to your natural uh what you find safe you know when you go back to those things where you're like oh you know this is what keeps me safe it keeps people at bay and it pushes people away don't do that okay you need to face those you need to see what it is that's triggering you why it is you have these defense mechanisms and how you can work through them to allow people to come in and love you okay because it's you're afraid of being loved and you know we've all been through some serious shit so i get that completely because believe me i'd be like stay the fuck away from me i don't even care i don't even want love no more <laughs> leave me alone <laughs> so but you have to face that shadow self you have to do that shadow work to heal it because if you don't then it's going to keep you from ever experiencing love and ever ex being truly happy, okay? While in the physical form, you might feel like you're not strong enough and you're not capable of doing it, you have the spiritual strength, okay? Call upon your guides, call upon your angels, pray to them, and they will help you. They will guide you through it, okay? Because they're showing once you deal with the shadow work and you close off anything that needs to be closed off that you've been kind of putting off or you've been like... Maybe I can avoid it and move past it without facing it. That's what's hindering everything. You need to face your shit and 
if it's breaking up, break up. If it's crying over whatever happened and releasing those emotions, then cry and release it. If it's admitting, hey, you hurt me and I love you and I don't know if I can forgive you and I don't know if I can work through this or I can work through this, whatever it is, face it head on and talk about it because when you do that then it'll allow you to release this and it'll clear those blockages so that you can move forward because once you do the work you're going to find harmony okay so if it's a relationship that has the blockages do the work okay because they're showing me i have two cards peace is going to come okay but a lot of this is going to come from you Finding your spiritual strength, you working on your spirituality, and you healing the things you need to heal, okay? Because shadow work is a lot of spiritual stuff. You know, that's when we face the parts of us that we don't like, the things that have happened that we refuse to acknowledge, or the things that happen that we just kind of close off and put away. Find those things, work on those things, heal those things, okay? Because through forgiveness, you're going to find the harmony in the relationship or the situation that you're going through right now. Okay, and like I said, forgiveness is not an easy thing. We all could say, oh yeah, I forgive you. Oh, it's okay. It wasn't a problem. And reality is we still hate them. We still resent them. We're still pissed off or we're still heartbroken that it happened. But if you don't talk about it, if you don't say, hey, you know what? This really hurt me. How can we work past this? Or how can we do this to make this better? You're not going to make progress because you're still holding on to things that are blo creating blo blockages. Um, so some of you are dealing uh, they're saying you need to be patient. Some of you have someone that is either very jealous of you or you're jealous of other people or other people's situation and understand that what someone else has is not for you. Okay, and there's no need to be jealous or envious because when you're jealous or envious, you're taking away from yourself. And there's things that you need to work on and see why it is that you feel jealous, why it is that you feel envious and you feel these things. Yes, Sandy, it's important. You have to let that shit go. You have to work on those things because then the more you heal your childhood, the e it's some I don't even know it's just it's a different type of feeling because you're able to find more peace um but they're saying to be patient so if it's being patient with yourself while you go through this you know be patient don't rush it takes time and it is a process and if you're dealing with someone else you can't force someone else to be ready just because you're ready you can't force someone else to do whatever you want them to do because that's what you want you know everything has its time and if you're not patient to allow this to he happen the way it's meant to happen then it's not going to happen okay because it's like you're forcing things and you're jealousy and you're trying to control the outcome you can't do that okay but in being patient and healing these things you're going to find your new uh your new path some of you are going to have a new career some of you do have a new job coming but be patient okay don't be jealous don't be envious of other people or why they have this and why they have that because everybody has their own shit in their own time and now they're showing that a lot of you go to what you knew as a child you know you think about when you were a kid and how you were hurt and the things that hurt you and how you learn to protect yourself you know some of us retreat some of us shut down some of us just go invisible and try to stay out of the way you know it's like hey if you can't see me then i can't get in trouble you know if i don't say anything then i won't have any problems and that's where it comes with the shyness all of these things are coping mechanisms we developed as a child because maybe if we spoke too much we'd get beat maybe if we acted out crazy we'd get beat so you learn to deal with these things and you learn to shut down or you learn to behave in a certain manner because that's what you find safe as a child. Now you're an adult. You don't need those safety mechanisms anymore. Now you're able to communicate. Now you're able to defend yourself. Now you're able to stand up for yourself. So as sad as it is and as painful as it may have been, it's time for you to embrace those things. It's time for you to feel those things and allow the tears and all of the pain to come with it. 
you know for me I do it as like a pressure release valve I do a little bit at a time because my sadness would consume me so if those of you have experienced shit like that then do a little bit at a time don't try to take it all head on and do it all at once because you'll go into a state of depression and you don't really want to be there but if you can do it and say okay I'm gonna focus on this area and do a little bit at a time then yes you can overcome it and you will get through it but you basically have to go with the flow of how this healing is going to take place for you okay and it's not going to be easy especially since it's a lot of childhood things that a lot of us we forget because we put it so far in our minds that we're like oh no I'm fine I'm fine and then as you get older things start coming back up you start getting triggers things start happening and you're just like oh shit I didn't realize this had such an impact on me so when you realize the impacts see what your coping mechanism was see what it was that shut you down see what it was that caused you to react the way you react and see what you still carry to this day and heal those things so that way you could find a better way to deal with them okay and find healthier methods in getting past those things but you have to go with the flow you have to allow everything to come out because it's meant to come out now is the time for healing so allow this to come out and they're saying to pay attention to what's going on around you okay you know just listen hear like see with your eyes and feel what's happening around you because a lot of that is going to be what's triggering you know it's going to bring up all of the past stuff and let go of your fear okay because whatever it was that happened to you in the past it's not going to happen again okay the likelihood of that is slim you know you have to really focus a lot and put a lot of energy into something like that occurring again but you have to work through that okay work on your childhood things because that'll help you to be whole again okay you know love your inner child the way you would have liked to have been spoken to you know think of how you were treated as a child think of the way your parents spoke to you or how they hurt you think of all of those things and then kind of course correct you know go back and find your inner child find that little kid that you were and give them the love that you didn't get you know, love them the way that you wish you would have been loved. Speak to them the way you would have you wish you would have been spoken to. So that way you can find that healing, so you can find that peace. Okay, because a lot of us don't do the inner child work and we just kind of keep going through the same shit as adults and we don't get it. You have to go back and love yourself and allow yourself to be sad, allow yourself to feel those pains, you know, because like I said, some of us we just had to be tough. It's like I couldn't cry it's like no that crying is weakness so crying was not allowed so it's like you don't allow yourself to feel those as a child and now we're fucked up adults so go back and t let yourself know it's okay to cry it's okay to have these feelings it's okay you know and allow that inner child that little kid in you allow it to be sad allow it to feel all of those things okay so that way you can heal and be better but they're asking you to try to find a positive thing in your life right now, okay? And try to just enjoy it, okay? Just smile at somebody, be nice to somebody. And when you do this, it's easier for you to get to where you're trying to go in life because you're going more with the flow of things instead of always resisting or having a bad attitude about everything. And some people are suffering in silence, you know? And like I said, a lot of us don't even realize it's a lot of our childhood shit and that's what keeps us fucked up. But when you're suffering, you know, just you can share if you want to share, but make sure your trust, the person you're sharing with, the people you share with, keep your secrets, okay, that they're not going and sharing it with other people. Because that's the last thing you want is people that are going to be telling your business all over the place. But, you know, you don't have to suffer alone. Aww. I'm sorry, love. It sounds painful. I want to cry right now. <laughs> um, You know, we all suffer. We all go through our shit. And I'm a person that I deal with a lot of my shit alone. Like, I just don't talk to people. I don't let people in. And I don't like being questioned. It's a trigger for me and it pisses me the fuck off. Because I feel like I'm being interrogated. So it's a lot of shit, you know. People deal with their own things in their own ways. You know, just because you deal with something, maybe you like talking and you like telling your whole life. Other people like me are very isolated. We shut down and we keep it to ourselves and we work through our own shit. 
Everybody's different. Respect the differences. When somebody wants to open up and share, be open, be there, allow it, but don't force people to do something they're not ready to do, you know? And if you are suffering and you need someone to speak to, please reach out. And for those of you that have friends that you haven't heard from in a while and you're like, where the fuck did they go? Reach out to them and see, make sure they're fucking good and you know, they're not having suicidal thoughts because people, uh, it's a thin line <laughs> in mental fucking sanity, especially if you already have a lot of shit going on. You know, it's easy to break that and send people to a side where you don't think they would ever go. But be strong, okay? Because in being strong and standing your ground and what you're going through right now, it's going to bring you the healing, okay? It sucks now. I know it sucks and I'm sorry that it fucking sucks. But believe me, it's going to bring you to where you need to be and you're going to be stronger and you're going to be able to lead people and teach people and show people how to get through these things because you were able to get through it. And like I said, I'm not for everybody. My methods are not for everybody. But maybe one of your methods are for somebody else that you know. Maybe what you do will work for someone else. So be okay with sharing, okay? And let people know what's going on because that's going to help other people to heal. Because a lot of us think, oh, well, nobody gives a fuck. Nobody who's an... You don't know whose life you're going to touch with your stories or what you're going through, okay? So share, talk to people, you know, be supportive, lead people, help them get through what they're going through. And whatever it is you're doing, you know, do it in moderation. Like I said, don't try to take everything head on. Because if you do, then you just become more overwhelmed and bogged down with a bunch of shit. So take it a little bit at a time, you know, maybe break it down into steps and say, okay, well, I can do this, I can do that. Just do a little bit at a time, okay? Because that's what's going to help you and to get to your healing and to help other people. Hello, Mumblas. How are you doing? Now, some of you are... You're either focused on past pain or pain, maybe it's recent, something that's recently occurred. But if it's heartache, you know, that you're going through, some of you are worried about family situations and that is the heartache that you're suffering now. For some of you, you may have had to leave a family situation or you're contemplating leaving a family situation. And it's hard, you know, if you have children, you know how hard it is to not be with your child. You know how hard it is to walk away from your children. You know, this is for either parent, whoever this is. You know how hard it is to not have that. For those of you that don't have children and are dealing with people that have kids, understand that you might love somebody and the love that you have for an individual, it might feel like the greatest and the grandest thing for you, but it will never compare to the love a parent has for their child and vice versa. So those are two very different types of pain and two very different types of separation. And if you cannot cope with that, if you cannot deal with that, then maybe you should not be with an individual that has children. If you don't know how to respect that boundary and respect that suffering and respect what they're going through. Okay, because it's hard for people to identify when they've never had to deal with it or they've never been put in that situation and even less if they don't even have children of their own to compare anything to. So if you're that person, you know, understand that people suffer and it's probably the worst suffering is someone not being able to have their children or have access to their children the way they want to. So, and those of you that are contemplating on going into being a family dynamic, heal your shit. Okay, heal your past pains because this relationship, this family dynamic that you're thinking about going to is going to be beneficial for you, but you have to learn how to heal your stuff, okay, because you can't bring that baggage into something else because it's only going to create more toxicity and another fucked up relationship for you. So it's necessary for you to try to see things in a different perspective. You know, try to look beneath beneath the surface of everything because while everything might look one way on the surface, beneath everything else, there's a lot more happening, okay? And like I said, spirit works beneath the surface because it's not shit that we see. We're like waiting, 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 spirit, when are you coming? When is this gonna happen? And it's work, spirit's working, but we can't see it. So we feel like nothing's happening, but they are working, okay? They're working in your favor. 
and again you have to let go of your old patterns your old way of dealings with things and stop comparing every situation to a past situation because all you're doing is causing more discord and causing more issues in your life so just because something happened a certain way unless it's the same exact fucking individual there's not a likelihood that it's going to happen again you know people change people grow people go through things so like i say a lot of us don't like being judged a lot of us don't like being held or being looked at as the same person we were five ten years ago because a lot of us are not the person we were five or ten years ago so allow that person the opportunity to be who they are to show you who they are now okay and if they hurt you forgive them you know depending on what it was forgive them because short of doing something fucked up to your kid or killing your parent or some shit everything's forgivable you know and i'm sure for some people that's forgivable too but some things i can't fuck with <laughs> um but understand you know let those things go you have to release your old ways of dealing with things and stop comparing every situation to well this happened before so that means this has to happen again this happened this way so that means this is what's going to happen now it's not factual okay that's all shit in your head and if you don't get out of that you're gonna fuck up any chance you have of having a relationship with anybody because nobody wants to deal with the same bullshit over and over again okay and for those of you uh music is essential to your healing okay so like i said i don't know if some of y'all actually create music like you write it or you play an instrument whatever it is you know use it as an outlet if you dance then go dance if you just like listening to music and you rock out then do that because it shifts the energy it brings you to a higher vibration okay but it's necessary for you to set your intention and stay focused on what it is you're trying to achieve and move towards your goal so if you're trying to get involved with the family dynamic set your intention and work on your shit if you are healing from a family dynamic work on your inner child healing a lot work on releasing whatever pain was caused to you okay work on releasing those insecurities because through this all that's where you're going to find your new beginnings that's where things are going to start working out and for some of you that have been in a relationship that are uh that's kind of been at a standstill nobody's making progress back or forth you know if you were the one that has been putting in and putting in and putting in and putting in and the other person is like not talking or non-fucking existent stand your ground you know if you said okay i'm done i'm done giving then you stop giving stay where the fuck you're at and if they want to come to you then they'll come to you and if they don't then it wasn't for you and move on and find somebody else okay because there's no point in you suffering or continuing to suffer over someone that hasn't shown you that they're interested in pursuing anything with you even if you know that they love you and they want to spend their life with you if they're not showing you that then assume hey well you haven't shown me that then i'm gonna keep it pushing until you're ready to do that okay so don't sit there and make yourself go crazy waiting on somebody to be ready to give you what you're asking for now some of you are dealing with a lot of fucking drama right now a lot of bullshit that you don't need to be listening to oh thank you joyce how are you doing today um so <sighs> your attachment to results and drama kind of go hand in hand okay a lot of us have our drama we have our bullshit because if you're like me i'm very strong-willed and we gonna fight we gonna fight i don't give a fuck i try to be peace light and love but believe me that only works for so long before we we just gonna be at it i don't fucking care so understand you know sometimes emo your emotions get the best of you and you kind of like oh i'm gonna fucking kill somebody try to stay calm you know try to just step out of your body for a minute and try to look at it as if you were watching a movie and you're watching something take place and try to see where that emotion is coming from okay because what i've learned is a lot of the time it's because they're just hurt or they're jealous or they have something deeply going on with them that they don't know how to properly express because they never learned how to express it as a child and a lot of people as adults they don't learn you know they don't change they don't do the work to learn different methods of communication they just resort to what they've known so that causes drama because like i said i try to be peace light and love but there's only so much i'm gonna tolerate before i flip the fuck out so eh, you know 
I'm not going to bullshit y'all. It's just, it's not me. I don't bullshit. So understand, you know, when you try to sit here and you're putting your expectation on something and you're like, okay, well, I want to be in a long-term relationship with somebody or this needs to happen in this specific way. Like, well, right now, today's fuck. What the fuck is today? We're still in fucking January. Holy fuck. So if we go with right now, we'll say we're going to go February 1st. We'll say it's February 1st, you know, by fucking March 1st, then I expect you to have an idea as to what's happening in our relationship. And if we're going to be together long term and if this is going to happen and if that's going to happen. And the reality is nobody knows what the fuck is going to happen. I could walk out the fucking door, get hit by a motherfucking car and be dead. And you worried about next fucking month. Like, no, Stop putting attachments onto everything that's happening, okay? Allow life to happen as it's meant to happen. The more you try to focus on the future and the outcomes of how this needs to play out like this and this needs to play out like that, you're putting more force into it not going the way you want. You're putting in a lot of resistance, okay? So it's more of, okay, this is my wish and you let it go into the universe and allow synchronicity to take take its place. If it's meant to happen, then it's going to happen. If it's not meant to happen, then it's not going to happen. So why stress yourself out about if this is going to work out, if that's not going to work out? Be patient with what's going on in your life right now because what I have learned is like I could be in my head and I'm stressed out and I'm stressed out and I'm trying to fucking figure this thing out and I'm figuring out which way I'm going to go and how I'm going to do this and how can I make this happen when in reality it's just like there's only so much I can do. So if in this path, on this journey, and whatever is happening currently, I can take a step. And it's like, okay, well, I'm working towards this. And that's what I'm working towards. I reach out to who I reach out to. I communicate whatever I need to communicate. And as long as I know I'm standing in my truth and I'm speaking my truth, I'm not worried about anything else because everybody has this... uh, this feeling you know a lot of people feel like the world revolves around them or if you're with someone that everything needs to revolve around that person when you don't realize that people have a lot more shit going on that's more important than a relationship you know it's like okay yeah relationships great fine but my focus is on my kids my focus is on a job my focus is on a house my focus is on everything else but you right now and if you can't respect that then that's not a situation for you you know maybe you should move on but you have to understand that people have different priorities so when you're dealing with people communicate get to know these fucking people that you're dealing with and see where their goals are see where their head is see what's happening in their lives because if you don't ask the questions or you don't have these conversations then you're going to go on thinking like, oh, well, everything's all about me, all about me, and I need to be top priority. And it's like, nah, everything, you're not top priority. In my life, my children are top priority. Anyone else is after. So I don't give a fuck who you are. Everything else is after my children. You're not a person that can deal with that, then you're not a person that belongs in my fucking life. It's that simple. So you need to speak to them and say, okay, well, how are you career-wise? You know, is that what you're focused on? Is you Are you uh, business-driven? And some people, yeah, maybe they're working on their business and that's what their primary focus is. Some people, maybe they're looking for housing and, okay, my focus is this. So you need to be okay with being put on the back burner, basically. So if you're put on the back burner, you need to be okay with saying, okay, well, you know what, I'm not this person's primary focus, so let me focus on my own shit, let me do what I want to do, if that is a relationship you want. If it's not a relationship you want, then let it rock and go find somebody else that'll make you the center of their fucking world. That's fine. I'm not that person, so don't come over here with that bullshit. But holding on too tightly to things fucks it up, okay? Oh, thank you, Joyce. Exactly. You know, what you put out into the world is what you're going to get back. So if you're focusing on you and you're working on you and you're loving yourself and you're doing what's necessary for you, you're going to find someone that's going to be doing the same thing. They're going to be focusing on the same things. You know, it's like, hey, this is my primary focus. This is what's going on in my life. You know, if this is a situation you're ready to deal with, 
Can you deal with it? Can you handle it? And if the person is, you know what, yes, I can, then cool. But if they say, yes, I can, and they're showing you the opposite, then no, no, they can't. Because all it's going to do is add more stress to your life. All it's going to do is make you be like, you know what? I don't need this bullshit because all you're doing is stressing me the fuck out. Be like, you said you were cool with this and you understood it, but clearly you don't. You know, but make sure you're communicating because lack of communication will cause a lot of relationships to end up fucked up because nobody knows what's going on and you assume that they're just ignoring you or they're not talking to you and you don't know what the fuck's happening. So communication plays a big part in a lot of shit, but make sure that you're doing that because all of this shit in your head right now, like you're so focused on the outcome, the outcome, the outcome, the relationship, the relationship, the relationship, it's causing a lot of fucking problems. And when a lot of problems start forming, it's a, I'm going to cut you the fuck off and I'm going to keep it pushing. So back off, allow shit to happen naturally because that's what's meant to happen in life. We're supposed to be present. And as long as you're present, you don't have time to worry about the future and what ifs and how the fuck this is going to work out. And some of you are very prideful. A lot of you are standing in your pride and that's fucking you up right now. So release your pride. You know, it's okay to have pride for some things, but you need to learn how to, when's a good time to be prideful? You know, if you're standing up for something that you truly believe in, then okay, be prideful. But if you feel like, oh, well, you did me wrong or you're not doing what I want you to do and this isn't how I want this to go, your pride is very much misplaced, my friend. Don't do that because all you're doing is fucking shit up. And you need to learn how to release your pride, okay? Because at the end of the day, when you fucking die, how many people you think are going to remember your fucking life? Some might remember funny stories about you or some instances where you did shit. Not many people are going to talk about the fucked up things that you did to them or that happened in the life. You know, most people will focus on the good. So don't live your life worried about what other people think of you because at the end of the day, nobody's going to fucking remember and you would have lived your whole fucking life worried about all these people's opinions. And nobody really gives a fuck once you're gone. Live your life. Live it how you want to live it. But don't be fucking prideful. Don't sit there and put that shit on other people or be like, oh, well, you need to, you did this and I, I don't give a fuck. You feel that way? You be mad about it. You deal with it. Talk to me when you feel better. But release those things, okay? Release these things because once you do that, you're able to follow your dreams. You're able to love unconditionally you're able to have the union that you're looking for because for some of you this is a spiritual union so this is something that is divinely guided or is coming from above so don't let pride fuck it up okay don't let pride fuck it up don't let your friends fuck it up don't let nobody fuck it up and some of you are being called to action and there is someone that has uh <laughs> romantic feelings i don't know what else to they have, you know, they're very emotional, very giving, very loving. Now, this doesn't have to be uh, romantic. It could be just a loving person that's going to come into your life to help you and guide you or be there for you when you're going through this. But right now, they're showing that there is a person that is having some financial constraint, constraints that might be someone that you care about or someone that really cares about you. You know, and maybe they're going through something financially, but they're not expressing that to you. So if you know this person, you know, reach out, talk to them. And if you are this person, you know, talk to whoever you know is really there for you and gives a fuck about you enough to want to help you. Okay, so do that. Because right now they're saying you have a lot of deep wounds that needs to be healed. So whatever things you haven't dealt with, whatever shit you're going through, whether it's past, present, current, fucking future, whatever in your mind is hurting you that you're like oh no this is eating me alive you need to work on that and heal it okay because some of you are healers and you need to heal yourself before you can go into healing other people and helping other people because we don't want broken people trying to heal other people you know fix yourself heal yourself so that way you can share your story so that you can help other people and allow yourself to be open to the abundance of the universe because they're showing that's when all your wishes are going to come true. That's when everything that you want is going to come true. So you have to let go of the pride and you have to let go of the attachment to how you want things to be and allow things to be as they are and accept it for as it is. And stop forcing shit to happen the way you want it to happen because that's what's causing your mental conflict and that's what's causing all of this fucking drama in your life right now. 
So you need to let that shit rock because you're going to be lonely and miserable and you're going to have no one to blame but yourself. So again, they're saying step back. Okay, look at the bigger picture before you make any decisions or you take any actions because you're so much into this that you're not seeing what you're doing. You're not seeing how you're sabotaging this connection. Okay, so take a step back. Ask yourself, am I being prideful? Am I really attached to the outcome of this situation? And is my mental anxiety, my constant overthinking, is this what's causing my drama because I'm so attached to the outcome that it's causing all these problems? So you need to look at that and reflect on that. And, you know, don't be afraid to be honest. Like I said, you have to speak your truth. If you don't speak your truth, no one's ever going to know what's going on, okay? Because when you do that, then you'll be able to follow your dreams. But you have to be patient with whatever this person is or whatever this person's going through. Because this is a spiritual union. This is divinely guided. So allow, you know, I know it's hard when we all want something and we want it now and we want it how we want it. You have to respect the other person's journey. You have to respect the other person's process. You have to respect that other individual for them to deal with their life the way they know how to deal with their life. Okay? You deal with your shit how you deal with your shit. They deal with their shit how they deal with your, their shit. You know, you're not the same. You're not the same individuals. You didn't grow up the same. You didn't have the same fucking lives. Nothing. So respect it. And if it's not something you can respect, then that's not your person. It's not for you. So make sure that you communicate, okay? And that don't mean force people or twist their fucking arm to talk to you. When they're ready to talk to you, they'll talk to you. When they want to share stuff, they'll share stuff. But they'll share what they want to share. You don't keep badgering people. That's not okay, okay? So you allow people to be who the fuck they are and deal with their shit and how they deal with their shit. Because how I deal with my shit might not be how you deal with your shit. And that's just the whole fact. So... Be okay with people being different from you because that's the beauty of life. We're all different. None of us are the same. But understand, when you release your attachment to the results, that's when all the drama will subside. That's when you will be less anxious about what's going on and you won't be so focused on the relationship. And then that's when everything will fall together. But as long as you're holding on to the result and the bullshit and everything else, this is going to fall apart. It's going to fall apart. So... Those are your messages for today. Um, you guys need to work on your solar plexus and your throat chakra. So yes, please definitely work on the throat chakra. It's very important. Communication. Spit the shit out. Stop being afraid because you know what? The last thing you want is to just die with all of this shit inside of you and be like, damn, I wish I would have said this. I wish I would have let this person know how I really felt. My life could have been different. Just speak. Say it, okay? Worst thing, they don't, they're don't they not receptive to the shit you're saying, but at least you don't have to sit there and let it eat away at you and eat away at you. Be honest. Say, you know what? I love you and I want to be with you. Cool. If they love you, they want to be with you, they'll be receptive to it. If they don't love you, don't want to be with you, then they'll be like, um, that's not what I want, you know? But be nice. You know, you can reject people. You don't have to be an asshole when you're rejecting someone. Be nice about it. And people have fucking feelings. Everybody has feelings, whether you want to admit it or not. Everybody has feelings. Do things in a manner that you would want them done to you, okay? Because I'm telling you, karma's like a fucking boomerang. You send that shit out, it's coming right back to you. It might not be now, but at some point, that shit's going to come right back to you. So every action that you take, make sure you're doing it for the highest good. Make sure you're doing it out of the kindness of your heart and not for any other reason. You know, don't attach bad things to it. Don't be like, oh, well, I'm going to manipulate this situation. I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that. Don't do it because what you send out is what's definitely coming back to you. Your karma's not going to miss your ass, okay? That's why we have generations and generations of generations of shit that we're trying to heal because it goes through our lineage. It keeps going. Heal it. Stop it here. Be a good person. Do better, okay? Don't do what your parents did. Don't do what everybody else did. Do fucking better, okay? Be loving, be kind, treat people the way you want to be fucking treated. And it's far and few between that I meet people that be like, yes, please treat me like shit. Yes, please kick me when I'm down. Oh, yeah, please disrespect me. I don't think anybody that I've come across wants to be treated that way. So why do you feel it's okay to treat people that way? It's not. 
because I promise you that shit's going to come back to you and you're not going to like it. When you think you're all happy and in love and everything's going good, that's when it comes back to you. That's when it comes and bites you on your ass because then it's like, oh, you remember when you did this to this person and they felt this way about you? That's when karma comes for your ass and you're just like, I don't understand. I was faithful and I was good and I did all this. That's why. You'll be like, oh shit, I remember I did this to this person. So keep that in the back of your mind when you're doing fucked up shit to people because it's going to come back to your ass. So I love you guys. I hope you have an awesome day and I hope this resonated with y'all and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.